God does not intend for us to remain unchanged from birth to death. We are in a process of perishing physically, but we are made to grow spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically from birth to maturity. God is watching our level of growth, and He is pleased when we are growing. That is His purpose for each of us. How much have you grown in these areas? How are you different today than you were a year ago? Since growth is in God's plan for you, here are some principles that will assist you. In order to grow, you must remain first unsatisfied. Let me quickly define what I mean by this. I am talking about a holy dissatisfaction that prompts changes for the better in you. Ability is both inherited and improved. You have natural abilities that you were born with. There is a stewardship responsibility that you have to develop those abilities. Never be satisfied to remain who you were at the beginning of the day. Each day is a period of time in which God has prepared a growth plan for you. It is inappropriate to compare yourself with others and to desire to measure up to their standard. The standard you are to be dissatisfied until you measure up to is the one God has prepared just for you. There are natural abilities and gifts that God has given to you to use to grow you into the productive person He wants you to be. You have some of those or you would not be alive. God gives an adequate supply to each of us. You may think your supply isn't as great as it should be. That is not for you to determine. Of spiritual gifts, for example, Paul said in 1 Corinthians 12, 11, all these gifts have a common origin, but are handed out one by one by the one Spirit of God. He decides who gets what and when. So your dissatisfaction should not be with supply, but with what you are doing with it. Mother Teresa said, Be faithful in the small things because it is in them that your strength lies. You need to develop those God-given abilities to the max. Don't settle for less than God's best. Until then, remain unsatisfied. By the way, your ultimate satisfaction will only be found in Christ. Second, be unshaken. There are a lot of things in the changing world today that can shake one to the core. The economy, uncertainty about the future direction of our government, unrest in key spots of the world, daily struggles in our own careers, unexpected losses and tragedies are all causes of considerable concern. If you are to grow and to achieve all that God has in store for you, you have to learn how to remain unshaken by life circumstances and remain anchored to your faith in an unshakable God. The old song says, On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Ronald Reagan said, A leader once convinced a particular course of action is the right one must have the determination to stick with it and be undaunted when the going gets tough. Too many people are prone to abandon their dreams, hopes, aspirations, God-given calling, to chase after lesser pursuits and become dissatisfied and devastated by the lack of fulfillment they bring. The McCord quote is appropriate here. Let it be said of you, he or she is in the mold of a Tom Watson in that he'll hit the ball in the trees and undaunted, go to it there, flail it out, and make something out of it. What will you make out of the things that could shake your life these days? The scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15, 58, So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and unmovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Third, be unswerving. Paul Myers quote says, Determine what specific goal you want to achieve. Then dedicate yourself to its attainment with unswerving singleness of purpose the trenchant zeal of a crusader. Once God has made it clear what his purpose for your life is, it remains only for you to pursue it through the most rigorous training, the best mentorship, 
the clearest stating of goals to get you there, and the enthusiastic dedication that refuses to turn from it to the right or to the left. Here is a biblical principle of what I'm speaking about. God told Joshua in Joshua 1.7, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. That is, speaking of keeping God's words, the same thing applies to walking in the way he has chosen for you. It is easy to get sidetracked in a world filled with temptation and trouble. It is easy to turn aside to turn back when the going gets tough. There will always be offers of shortcuts and cheap imitations of the real thing that is planned for you. So remain unswerving in your resolve to achieve your goal and you will love the reward at the end of the day. And fourth, be unstoppable. If you think you're going to be defeated, you will be. If you believe your goal is impossible, you might as well save the energy you would expend proving that. It is what you think that determines the level at which you will perform today. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, Your own mind is a sacred enclosure into which nothing harmful can enter except by your permission. You need to install a negative alert on your brain. When a negative thought attempts to enter there, oppose it with all the power God gives you to resist it and reject it. I know there will be some challenging moments along the pathway to success. There have been for a lot of us. It is to those who have remained unstoppable that the marks of achievement have been ascribed. Ralph Marston said, See the positive possibilities. Redirect the substantial energy of your frustration and turn it into positive, effective, unstoppable determination. The Apostle Paul said it this way when speaking of all things that could come against our victorious life in Christ. Romans 8, 37. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Jesus said in John 10, 10, I came so they can have real and eternal life, more and better life than they ever dreamed of. God's plan for each of us is that we should be growing. If you would grow into all that he has for you, apply these four simple principles. Be unsatisfied, unshaken, unswerving, and unstoppable.